Hello everyone and welcome to your monthly tarot scope. Before we begin, I would like to say that if you are interested in having a personal private reading and not just a general reading, please visit my website linked in the description bar below. It is $15 per tarot reading. I would also like to say that I am now offering palm readings, so if you are interested in having your palms read, please visit the website for more details. It will be right below the tarot section. There will be a read more button and if you click that, it will open up the palmistry section. So like I said, if you are interested in those, I will be very happy to fulfill those orders. And now on to your reading. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your August 2015 tarot reading. Laid before you is your monthly spread. The top card there is your focal card of the month and the other cards um, are symbolic for each week of the month. So with your focal card, you have the Queen of Swords. This is um, most likely somebody else um, and that's not you. I mean, it is very possible it could be you, Scorpio, playing this role. But I think for most of you, it's going to be somebody else. Somebody um, who's just playing a heavy and having a heavy influence in your life this month. Um, it's probably somebody who's an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Somebody who is charming and witty, they could be a bit sarcastic. <laughs> um, somebody who who really knows their stuff, they're wise, uh, they're intelligent. So whatever it is that this person has to tell you or teach you, you need to heed the information that they're giving you. For the first week, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is um, some kind of money or uh, resources being passed down to you, whether it be from your family or your husband's family or just somebody that you're linked to. Um, this could be um, somebody passing down some wise advice, but for the most part it is actually something um, to do with money and finances. But, you know, advice can be very valuable, so there you go. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it could be something big, like somebody could be passing down some uh, property to you, or you might have access to a trust fund, or it could be something small, like a piece of jewelry, or, you know, a book. But whatever it is, the person that's giving it to you finds it to be very valuable, and I think you will too. Um, so that's, that's a great thing to look forward to in the first week of August. For the second week, you have the Page of Swords. This, um, I feel that for a lot of you, this will be you, Scorpio, playing this role. But it doesn't necessarily have to be you, because you are not an air symbol. Um, but, you know, we all have different situations in our life where we have to put on different masks and play different characters. Uh, but yeah, if, it, if this is you, Scorpio, it, it's, it, I feel like you're, whatever the situation is that you want to go out and do something... Um, I feel like you're being a little too cocky. You're being a little too big-headed or egotistical, maybe even prideful. Um, you're trying to jump the gun. <laughs> uh, you, you really you don't know what you're doing. You think you do. Um, you've read the books, you've done the research, you've spent the time, or, or, or I, I shouldn't say spent the time, but you know, you really think that you've heard it all and that you know what you're doing. But the problem is is that you lack the experience. Uh, and some things you just, you really need time and experience um, to do well. So, you know, this might be the week where the Queen of Swords comes in to advise you and to help you out. Uh, and if the, if this Page of Swords is not yourself, Scorpio, playing this role, this is going to be somebody who's younger than you. Or um, if they're not younger than you, they're at least, you know, you're going to put them in kind of that category or that box because they're definitely less experienced than you in a certain situation and then you know that would mean that you you're probably going to be playing the queen of swords and advising them um helping them out with with your you know knowledge or wisdom on the matter um and and if you are the page of swords it's, it's not saying that you shouldn't go out and do what it is that you want to do just try not to be so egotistical about it and feel like you know everything uh, because you might be surprised that you don't and that you're going to be put in a situation where you really need someone's help. In the third week, you have the Five of Swords. <laughs> this is you feeling like you've really, you've, you've won a battle here. Uh, you feel victorious and you feel confident. And that's a great feeling, you know. Perhaps whatever, if this was you, whatever it is that you wanted to do, you succeeded at it. Or at least you, you've had a succeeding moment and you feel great about it. And that's... That's a great thing. Um, the thing that you want to keep in mind with the Five of Swords, though, is, you know, there's always continuing battles in our life. This is not the last battle. 
Um, so don't put your swords down yet. Um, but for now, it's, it's good news. Whatever it is that you had to overcome, you've overcome it and you feel great. For the last week of the month, you have the Nine of Swords. Now, this is kind of a turnaround. You've had a lot of swords this month. But this is kind of a turnaround um, from the positive into the negative. Uh, this is you worrying about something. This is you not being able to sleep because your mind's on some kind of situation that, you know, you're just uncertain about or you're, you're worried about. Something's keeping you worried. Uh, the good news about the Nine of Swords is that you know the answer to whatever the problem is. You already know the answer deep inside of you. It's just something, it might be a situation that you don't really want to face. It's something that you're dreading. Um, and and that's, that's never a good thing. But overall, it looks like a great month. You know, minus the last week of something worrying you or bothering you, keeping you up at night. Maybe you're having some bad dreams. Other than that... It looks like a fantastic month for you, Scorpio. So, um, <laughs> so let me know what you know how how it goes. Uh, and that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do this every month, and I will see you next month. Bye bye.